Hi there. Now, for this question, it is given that f of x equals 2x minus 5 all cubed plus x, for x being any real number. And we've got to show that f is an increasing function for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, for this one, just briefly, if you've got an increasing function, that's indicated on this sketch graph here by the red parts. The gradient is always increasing. It's always greater than zero, given by dy by dx. And if a graph is decreasing, as shown by the green part here, then the gradient given by dy by dx would always be less than zero. So what that means is we've got to, first of all, find out what the gradient is of this function. We do that then by differentiating it. So we'll start off with f of x, first of all, then equaling 2x minus 5, all cubed, and then plus x. So therefore, if we differentiate it, f dash x or f prime x, it's going to equal. Well, for this first term, we've got to use the chain rule. And I'm assuming you're familiar with the chain rule, but if not, you can always check it out on my website. Or I'll run through this very briefly at the end of the video. But if we, did, if we just call 2x minus 5, say t, we've got t cubed. And differentiating t cubed would give us 3t squared. So that'd be 3. But I'm not going to write t. t was the 2x minus 5. So it's 3t squared. So it'd be 3 times 2x minus 5 all squared. But then you have to multiply by the differential of what you call t. We call t 2x minus 5. So if you differentiate that with respect to x, you get 2. So that's the chain rule for that. And as I say, I'll run through that in detail at the end of the video. Now we differentiate the plus x and we get plus 1. So tidying this up, we get 3 times 2, which is 6, multiplied by 2x minus 5, all squared, plus 1. Now what I can see here is that since, okay, since the 2x minus 5 all squared is always going to be greater than 0, if you square anything it'll always be greater than 0, then it must mean therefore that f dash x is going to be greater than 0 for all real numbers. Because if you multiply a positive value here by 6, it's going to be positive. Add 1, it's still going to be positive. So f dash x is greater than 0. So therefore, f will be an increasing function for all values of x. Now, if we were to draw the sketch of f of x, not that you have to, it would look like this. And you can see that it's always increasing as x increases. I also said that I'll show you how we can differentiate 2x minus 5 cubed then by the chain rule. Remember that dy by dx, if you're using the chain rule, is the same as dy by, say, dt, multiplied by dt by dx. It's as if these dt's cancel out, just leaving you with dy over dx. So if I was to let, let's say, t equal the 2x minus 5, then y would be, let's say it follows that y would be equal to t cubed. OK, we've got t cubed, 2x minus 5 all cubed. So when it comes to working out what dy by dx is, I have to do dy by dt first of all. Well, if y equals t cubed, dy dt would be 3t squared. So I wrote down the 3, but instead of writing the t, I wrote 2x minus 5, and that was all squared. 
And then I have to multiply it by dt by dx. I multiply it by the differential of what I call t. And differential of 2x minus 5 is simply 2. So that's how I got that particular term there. Okay, well, I hope that's given you an idea anyway on how to do this question if it caused any problems.